Hello all, welcome to another tutorial from the CG Lounge. My name is Jared, I will be your host for today's tutorial. One of our community members, Mikkel, was gracious enough to lend me his awesome blaster model here, and I'm going to use this to demonstrate the 3D Cut and Sew UV tool. This tool has been available in Maya since version 2018. First, I'm going to switch my workspace to UV editing. Let's say we just finished modeling and our UVs are a complete train wreck. Uh, to get started, I recommend just quickly laying out UVs using a, a planar projection. The UV Cut and Sew tool can be found under UV, 3D Cut and Sew UV tool. Before we lay out the UVs on this handle, let's go over a few of the options in the 3D Cut and Sew tool. At the top, we have brush options. Then we have display options and a nice list of keyboard shortcuts. The brush options are self-explanatory, so I'll skip over those. Under the display options, we can enable a checker map, texture borders, and show UV shell coloring. If you click this and it disables itself automatically, that is because you are not in the shaded UV mode. We only have one UV shell, so the model is displayed in one solid color. To cut our shell, we double click on an edge. This will select the whole loop and create a new shell. To sew those edges back together, we hold control and double click on the same edges. You can also left click and drag along edges to cut them. and control and drag along edges to sew them back together. Mousing over an edge while holding tab will show you a preview of where a cut will be created. So to get started on this model, I'm going to just double click on some edges to find out um, to figure out where I'm going to place my initial shells. That looks good for now. If you right click and go to component, UV shell, as you mouse over the model, you will select the different UV shells. If you hit the D key, you will unfold the, that specific shell. The model has some pretty nice UVs on it right away. So we can go over into the UV editor tool. Let's Let's move these shells around and see what we got. Here on the right, we have the outside of the model. And that means here, uh, these UVs are inside the handle. Let's work with these first. Maya dropped the tool, so I have to reopen it. And let's sew some edges back together. I'm holding control shift and pushing up on my mouse. And as I do that, I'm sewing these edges back together. We're gonna right click, go back to UV shell mode and hit D. And then, I actually, I, I went too far sewing those. So let's go back to edge and just hit shift, click and, Move your mouse up to cut an edge there. We'll go back to the UV shell and lay out the UVs again. For the outside, we're going to work much the same. So I'm going to hit uh, Control Shift and slide down here to stitch the outside of the handle together. Oops, didn't work. Let's try that again. That is as far as I would personally use the 3D Cut and Sew tool. To continue refining these UVs, I would prefer to work in the UV editor. Uh, let's start on the inside since this is practically done. I'm going to double click on one of these UVs to select the whole shell. Then hit Shift, right click, and straighten my shell. I'm going to call that done. 
To take things a little further, let's check the distortion on the model by clicking on the UV distortion shader. The blue and red colors represent compression and stretching in the UVs, and the white color represents optimal results. So we look around the model, we can see uh, we're getting a little distortion here in the handle. We can alleviate some of that by maybe uh, uh, cutting these edges here a little, a little more. These shapes on the handle are circular on the left and the right side, but the UVs look like little eggs. So obviously there's some distortion here. We can also display a grid on our model by going to textures, check your map. And that'll help you check some of the uh, distortion. I go back to the UV editor and let's cut these shapes out of this. So doing the same thing I would do on the 3D model, I'm just going to double click an edge to select a loop, shift, right click, go to cut, select my shell and move it out of the way. I will do the same to this side of the handle. Okay. And then let's try unfolding the handle again and see if that will alleviate any of the distortion. That doesn't quite look circular to me. So uh, another thing I like to do is use the optimize brush. You can go to tools, optimize, and you can paint over your model. If you want to make the brush larger or smaller, press and hold the B key, left click and slide your mouse to the left and the right to change the size of the brush. We can check the distortion here while doing this. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, I think that looks pretty good. So let's address these shapes and the handle. We're going to visualize the distortion again. Uh, you can see there's a lot of uh, distortion inside this shape. So the best way to alleviate that is to cut it up into a few smaller shells. So first, let's find the, the bottom of this shape, which I believe it's going to be that edge. We're going to cut it out. And right when we made that cut, you can see the uh, distortion cleared up on, on this plane. We still have some here. So what we're going to do is make one more cut. Let's choose this edge, cut it, uh, unfold this. And let's see what we get. Ooh. Ooh, I did not cut. So let's try that again. We have that edge selected and we're going to cut it. Now you can, I know it's cut this time because of this solid white line. So let's go back to the shell and unfold it. And we get this art shape. You can see right away a lot of the distortion over here cleared up. First let's straighten the shell and then straighten the UVs. So it kind of worked, but it kind of didn't. Sometimes we need to uh, move our UVs around to help these these tools work better. So what I'm going to do is going to grab this side of the, the shell and rotate it a little. And let's grab this side and rotate it a little. And then let's go back to straighten and straighten UVs. That got us pretty close. Still not perfect, but we can go here, we can optimize this, and that shell is uh, cleaned up. You can do the same thing to the circular shape on the right side of the handle. It doesn't look to be a lot of distortion here except for it's an egg shape. So let's first just unfold this again. We get our circle. Let's see what we can do really quick. I'm going to cut that. 
and unfold it. Um, let's unfold this shape a little. It didn't help a whole lot, so we're going to have to cut it up. What we'll do is let's select this shell and we'll turn the visualization off for now. Makes it difficult to see things. You can see I actually didn't get the bottom of the shape selected. Let's just make another cut. I think it's going to be this edge here. We're going to cut that. Move this out. Voila, all the distortion is gone there. Then on this shape, we're going to do the same thing we did to the other side. We're going to cut it and then unfold it. That looks pretty good. Now you could also, you can optimize here or you can also go to tools, optimize brush and let's do that. I personally like to do the optimize brush here. And you can see it appeared it wasn't working, but our, our brush is just so big. So let's make it smaller and we can paint over this. Mm. Don't like the effect it's giving us. Kind of like it laid out straight. So let's do that. I'm going to call this done. The last thing I would do is pack these into UDIMs again. And the first thing I want to do is take my largest, most prominent shape and scale it up to take as much space as possible in this UDIM. Okay. And that's going to be the largest any shell can be on this object. We're going to go to the UV toolkit, transform. We're going to get the texel density here. And we're going to set that across the other shelves. This ensures they are all the same size. I'm going to pack these shelves back into this UDIM. And that is how you can use the cut and sew tool to quickly lay out your UVs. Thank you for watching my video. To support this channel, please like and subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I will answer them as fast as I can.